Is that is that kind of odd to be that big of a power hitting team? It's it's something that we've really tried to focus on. Is uh, we talk about getting our best swing off uh, every at bat. So we want to make sure that when we're going up there, whether we we're, we're successful or not, that it's our best swing, and that we're really being attack uh, an attack mode with our swing, and uh, being aggressive. And you know, I've had a lot of coaches that we've played against comment on, "Hey, I really love the way your kids swing the bat. When they get up there, they don't get cheated." And you know, that means a lot to me as a hitting coach because. I don't want them to take that passive, hey, maybe swing. I want them to get after it. And that's why I think in the last week, we really, our power numbers really went up is because we focused on that 2 0 3 1 count where the pitcher's got to do something. They're more apt to come in the zone. And we were being even more aggressive in those types of situations, which I think allowed us to, to have that increase in doubles and home runs. And we had a couple of kids really go off this week. Power number wise, Caitlin Winnick, two home runs, three doubles. A lot of RBIs this week. Uh, same with Ricky. Chelsea uh, had a really good week. Um, and we had some of our girls that had been kind of, you know, I wouldn't say struggling, but uh, haven't had the results that they were looking for uh, kind of come out of that funk and, and start to produce for us. And Michaela Rettinger had a great day yesterday where she was in a kind of a funk of not getting on base. And that was her big thing is get on base, get on base. And she hadn't been doing that. And yesterday she came out in attack mode. First at bat hit a home run, second at bat laid down a drag butt single, and even our third at bat, it wasn't something that shows up on the stat line, but it was a line drive right at the center fielder um, that would have, you know, would have been a double easy. So uh, I think just not getting cheated at the plate and getting our best swing off as many times as we possibly can has, has been, you know, why we've hit, so, hit for power so well. You know, I hope we stick to the plan because the, the more we've had stuck with our plan, whether it's OO count or ahead in the count or two strike approach, um, when we stick to it, regardless of what the results are happening, um, that's when we're really successful. Uh, you know, we talk about hitting ahead in the count. We've done a great job of that lately, where early in the season, our hat was put right on two strike approach. If we got to two strikes, we weren't scared, we weren't intimidated, we weren't afraid to strike out. And we were still getting great results. We were hitting home runs and doubles with two strikes. Mm -hmm. um, just making sure that we stuck with the plan. I think we've gotten away from the two strike part a little bit, but we've been more aggressive when we're OO and we're ahead in the count and have maybe covered that up a little bit. But if we get both those things rolling at the same time, that's when we're really going to be dangerous. So I want them to stick to the plan. Let's not change it up and, and, and do things that are out of our character. Let's do the things we practice every day. Pick a side of the plate early in the count. If it's there, great. Get after it. If it's not, tip your hat, say good pitch, and move on.